Radyo Pilipinas Wow China program goes viral for wrong reasons. State-run Radyo Pilipinas recently garnered backlash from Filipinos after a video of their Wow China program went viral on Facebook. Wow China is a collaboration between the Philippine Broadcasting Service and China Radio International. The cultural program is meant to promote Chinese culture and history among Filipinos. The Philippine Daily Inquirer reported that Wow China seems to have begun airing on Radio Pilipinas in 2018. The program's opening spiel in Filipino says, Other practices to be studied and discussed in interesting ways. Wow China! The announcement also says light conversations and information-packed knowledge will get to know our Chinese siblings for better communication and cooperation. The program's logo, shown at the beginning of the program, even includes China's flag. The episode that went viral was the show posted on the Facebook page of Radio Pilipinas on May 10. As of May 12, the video has garnered over 19,000 reactions and over 8,000 comments, with 17,000 of the reactions categorized as angry. According to Coconuts Manila, the show is broadcast every Friday on Radio Pilipinas and every Monday on China Radio International. Hosted by Nympha Asuncion and Ernest Wang since the program began, Wow China features the two discussing Philippine events and Chinese lessons. In the viral episode, the two talked about quarantine life in Metro Manila, Mother's Day celebrations, and other subjects until it was time for a guided Mandarin lesson. A certain teacher, Serenity, from the Confucius Institute of the University of the Philippines arrived to teach listeners of the program how to tell the time, date, and week in Mandarin. Teacher Serenity has reportedly been a recurring guest teacher at Wow China. The program lasted an hour but viewers of the show online did not respond kindly to Teacher Serenity's lessons or the host's discussions. Netizens expressed their disapproval of a Philippine government station promoting Chinese culture, especially following the Iisang Daga Chinese Embassy-produced music video enraged Filipinos as well. Wow China became a trending topic in the evening of May 11, with many bringing up the West Philippine Sea and comparing China's presence in the Philippines to an invasion. The Presidential Communications Operations Office and the Chinese government have had numerous bilateral media and communications agreements since 2016.